Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the Home Bookkeeper, and on this channel I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. In today's video, we are going over how to record payment deposits when you are using a third-party credit card processor that doesn't sync with QBO. Before we start, I want to mention that I do not ever recommend using third-party programs that do not connect with your accounting software, regardless if you use QuickBooks or another platform. It leaves a lot of room for error and requires more time and more advanced accounting methods. Also, if you are a business owner watching this video who outsources, it will run up your billable hours from your bookkeeper, costing you more money in the long run. QuickBooks payments are seamless with QuickBooks Online. You can take and record pretty much any form of payment, including American Express, and you can even have your card reader connect via Bluetooth to a phone or tablet for businesses that travel Maybe you need to connect with clients on the job site or seasonal vendors who are always in the markets. If you are already paying for a QuickBooks subscription, I highly recommend getting your money's worth by using all of the features that are available to you. A link to start using QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Payments is down below in the description. Let's get started. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. This is the business owner view of QuickBooks, so if you are a bookkeeper or an accountant, please check out the bookkeeper view playlist available on my channel. First, you will want to go to the get paid and pay screen and select the invoices tab. Then find the invoice you want to receive the payment for. Receive the payment as normal without entering the credit card information. You can input the type of card and the credit card machine slip reference number and put the deposit account as undeposited funds. You will want to use undeposited funds because the funds are not yet available in the checking account and won't be until the batched deposit has actually cleared the bank. When finished, click save and close. Now when you settle your credit card machine, and the batch deposit clears the bank account, it will show up in your bank feed in QuickBooks Online. Find the deposit and match it to the invoiced payments. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey. 